Why did you and Cartier front bust up inside and not try things on the outside? All right, episode four, we've got the q and I posted a little question box on my Instagram before. Got a whole heap of questions, like real, we've really loaded up here. So yeah, this is it, Q&A time. It's exactly what you wanted. We'll go in here, we'll get it done. All right, come on, come on inside. Yeah, here we go. Oh, hang on, I'll just get the fountain on one second. Hang on, this here. Oh, we need a bit of movement on this thing. Sorry, I only just got it. Just trying to figure it out. Come on. Sky, we need fountain help. Oh, hang on, it's dribbling. Oh, we're on just there, bang, Sky. Don't worry, I figured it out myself. Beautiful. Alrighty, well, where should we start? Q and A. Stormy, got our mascot for the day. All right, what do you want to start with? Let's start by getting a few going here. We'll just get the ball rolling, a couple of funny ones. Oh, actually, no, we'll just go straight into the Cartier ones here. Have you been in contact with Cartier since I got out of the villa? Yes, I have been in contact with her a couple of times. Just general chit chat, nothing like, too serious. That's pretty much that answer. Did everyone get along in the Love Island villa? Look, to be honest, I think season two, everyone did really get along. Like it was pretty basic. There wasn't really much drama. No one was really wanted to step on anyone's toes. Um, yeah, it wasn't actually like the first season at all. So I'm gonna say, yeah, everyone sort of did get on. That's Sky, she's running the marketing. Got her working. Look at her, she's getting it done for me. <laughs> no, don't hide Sky, come on. Beautiful. Oh, let's just sit down, actually. Let's have a crack at sitting. All right, um, how tall are you? Like, really, question mark. I'm 183 centimeters, so that's six foot. Yeah, I looked short in the villa, to be honest, because like, mate, Everyone in the villa was like six, 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 four, just absolute giants. So that's the reason why I look like a midget. Where do I see myself in three years time? That's a good question. I think I answered that sort of in the first one. I sort of try and live in the present, but this year I just want to get a whole heap of, I don't know, just shit in place so that I don't have to go back on the tools, to be honest. I mean, look, I'm off the show now. I've got a fair few opportunities getting thrown at me, which is, you know, exactly what happens when you go on a show like that. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna put some wheels in motion and try and just keep, you know, ticking boxes. Uh, what's the next car you're gonna get? Who knows? Hopefully a Lambo or something, eh? No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. What else we got here? Can we date? Sure. Nah, <laughs> that's Charlie Brown. So yeah, there's a little shout out for you. Next tattoo. Could go with that next tattoo. Just want to finish my leg because I've just started that. So <coughs> keep chipping away at that. Do I have a favorite memory from your Love Island experience? Uh, I'm gonna just say the whole experience in a whole was was good. So I mean, not many people get to do that sort of shit in their life, eh? So like, I mean, that's you know, I feel pretty lucky to get in there. There's like tens of thousands of people that applied for the show and didn't get on. So you know. I think I'm pretty lucky to have even got on there in the first place. Do I regret anything from Love Island? No, not really. I feel as if I was a pretty good example of myself on Love Island. Hey, I prided myself on how I, you know, if that's even a word, prided myself. Is that good? That sounds pretty good. On how I acted on there, to be honest. So, you know, I was a pretty good representation of myself. Pretty much 100%. New spot, new spot. How do we get out of this mansion? Sorry, I only just got in here. About five minutes ago. <laughs> Still getting my bearings. <laughs> All right. Oh, she's a bit on out here. Here we go, we'll go under here. Hang on, we'll just have a chat anyway. Um, what was your first tattoo and how old did you get it? I wanted to save all this for tattoo talk, but seems I'm getting a lot of questions about my tattoos and shit right now. This one down here was my first one on my shin. I uh, got that exactly when I turned 18 as the Virgin Mary. Go figure. I wanted to get like religious body suits like what David Beckham had and I was fully into soccer when I was a kid so that's like who my idol was and that's what I wanted to look like. That's the reason behind it. But that's all the tattoo talk I'm doing because I'm saving it for another day. Oh, what girls were better? Season one, is it windy as shit out here? Yeah, it might be, yeah. Oh, we might have to move. 
Alright, we'll go back in here. Here we go. We'll get back in here. We'll park up just here for yeah. a sec. Alright. Oh, what girls did you think were better from Season one or season two? That's a bit of a juicy one. Um, oh, let's, I don't want to be the one that bear a bad news on this question, but I'm going to say it was a heavy mix. I reckon if they mixed a few of the girls from the first season and the second season into one, boom, there's your third season. That's what my answer with that is. Where did I get my Astro World hoodie? Uh, I got that hoodie off... Um, the Astro World website. <laughs> Just type that in, boom, grab one for yourself. Did anyone have sex in the villa? Oof, I don't have a clue, to be honest. But I did hear a lot of rustling on the few beds that are left to me. I'm not gonna name any names, but I did hear a bit of rustling, a bit of movement on the left-hand side. <laughs> um, how did I keep my sanity in the villa? You pretty much don't keep your sanity in the villa. I mean, you're locked up in there. You don't have any phone, any way to get away from anyone. You just get slapped in there. Like, you gotta deal with everyone's shit. Like, it's a heck, it's really hectic. I mean, how I found my sanity was just turn my brain off while I was in there, eh? Like, that's the only way I did it. Where's these other ones? Had a couple of good ones. Oh, this one's pretty good. Did you know, did, do you know why Josh unfollowed you on Instagram? Pack and pair, no buddy. I don't know why you unfollowed me on Instagram, but you know, it's just Instagram at the end of the day. So I don't really give a shit. We don't have any problems. I like the guys of legend, but yeah, I mean, you did unfollow me. So maybe I don't, I don't know. We'll see how we go. Oh, sorry, hang on. I'll just get this. Reese. Oi, I'm just mid vlog. You've, you, you've jumped in on my vlog. Here, hang on. You may as well say hello while you're on the camera. <laughs> oh, what's going on, everyone? We're back. <laughs> Fucking. Oh, I'm swearing already. Free shit Wednesdays. What are we doing? Yeah, nah, we're, doing, we're doing wacky Wednesdays. No, I needed to ask you a question, but I'll save it. Yeah, righto. <laughs> Give me a call when you're done. Oh, yeah, Roger? No drama. Alright, All right, no, hooroo. Bye bye. Catch you, Alright, so, sorry about that. Far out, he's gate crashing all my shit. Look at this guy go. <laughs> oh, what else do they want to know in here? Like, there's a whole lot of just. Uh, like. Do you wanna. Can I marry you? Let's go on a date. I wanna. <laughs> Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> like, there's a, there's, that's why when I, when you asked me to do this Q&A, and I'm like, I'll do it, but like, I posted a little Q&A up the other day, and yeah, I just got a whole bunch of, you know, <clears throat> that I can't really say on it. so, yeah, anyhow, it's making it difficult. Oh, uh, I've got another couple here, a couple of good ones. Thoughts on Cartier and Matt's breakup? I don't actually know anything really about their breakup, but I thought I'd just throw it in there to be honest. Like they're just their thoughts on Cartier's. I might shut it. But yeah, I don't actually know how they broke up or why they broke up, but I'm guessing it just wasn't gonna work on the outside. Why did you and Cartier bust up inside and not try things on the outside? I feel as if the reason why we broke up and busted up on the inside was um, it was like a lot more of my doing because of those things about there was a lot of unanswered questions on how we were going to work on the outside of the villa so I mean the chances of going to the end of the actual show winning 25k each and then busting up you know it's safer to break up inside I think than go outside when you've got tabloids and everything hitting you up and I'm on look at me I've got cameras on every corner here um, so yeah that's the reason that's the reason why I did it. It wasn't going to work on the outside. Look, she's, you know, a really good girl, beautiful girl. And like I said, she has her piece of my heart and all that. Yeah, she does. She's a legend. I've got nothing bad to say about her. Won't speak a bad word about her. But yeah, we weren't going to work. So it's not friend island. Am I wrong? It's love island. So that's the reason why. So, you know, I wasn't just there to get to the end and make money. Like I said it from the start. Why don't you get Cartier on a YouTube video? Well. 
I'm gonna hit her up after this. So I'm actually, if she's watching, I'm gonna call her out on here. Cartier, if you wanna be in a video, I've got a couple of ideas we could dead set, get one crank and we could even make it maybe the last video of the month, I like go out of this month with a bang. So yeah, if you're there, Cartier, and you're watching, and you wanna do a video, let's go. Let's get it done. Is Love Island completely different? There's a lot of Love Island questions on here. I mean, I know that's what you wanna know about, so that's what we're gonna answer. Thought you'd want to know about me, but yeah, you really don't give a shit about me, do you? You just care about Love Island. Um, is Love Island completely different inside to what the public see on TV? No, it's a day behind. What you see is what you get, to be honest. They don't tell you how to act in there. You act exactly how you want to act. I mean, I know that everyone's talking about they got a position, they were the villain, they were this, they were that. No, they weren't. It's, you act how you want to act. If you act like an idiot, then you're gonna look like an idiot. So I just acted like myself. So yeah, that's, it's a day behind the editing. That's what they say here. How behind is the editing? It's a day behind. Film Monday plays Tuesday. What do you do when the cameras are off? The cameras aren't off ever. They're on 24 seven. So yeah, there isn't any time to yourself. So don't think the cameras get turned off. Are you still looking for love? Of course, yeah, I'm 27 years old and I'm looking to get in a relationship. I mean, love takes time. I don't think anyone falls in love in six weeks, so, you know. Strawberry chocolate, strawberry or chocolate milkshake? Chocolate, that's not even a question. Are you still doing plastering? Or do you just wanna do YouTube and modeling? Look, I'll do plastering for as long as it's always gonna be there, I'll do it whenever, so, you know, I can do plastering, I still can, I still probably will do it. I have been doing a little bit of modeling, I know I said in the first one. So yeah, I actually did a campaign for Cotton On not long ago, that's gonna be coming out in February, so. That's a pretty good thing for me. I think that was pretty good. So yeah, hopefully you like that. <clears throat> Did you remember being filmed all the time? No, you forget the cameras are there instantly. They're literally CCTV. They're on the side of the walls. They're, yeah, they're, they, you forget about that shit real quick. Maybe. <coughs> Sorry about that. My snake fell out of my shorts. <laughs> nah. Stop. <laughs> Sorry about that, that was lit. That was actually not planned, by the way, just quietly. Blonde or brunette? My types are brunette, but I somehow always end up with blondes. I don't know why that is. Sexy time, question mark. Do you want any sushi? I got you some. Chicken there. The ultimate shred. Whew, I actually need a bit of that right now. Maybe I should have a glass of that. Uh, there's a question, have you ever had a man? <laughs> Not a man until you had a man, from what I've heard, but <laughs> no, I've never had a man. I don't want one either. But I don't care if you're into men, that's all good. Do you play league? Not anymore, I used to play football, I'm weathered. So, my knees are cooked, I'm, they're no good. They're, I'd get snapped in half if I played football again. And will you come to Melbourne? I was in Melbourne on the weekend. Do you regret breaking up with Cartier? No, I don't. Like, like I said, there's a lot of Cartier questions here. I'm gonna keep answering, but you know, no, I don't. I did the right thing at the end of the day. As bad as it might have been, I looked or felt. Not a question, but your YouTube videos are my favorite. Thank you. Thanks for the love. I'm actually frothing it, to be honest. It's a bit of fun. Yeah, hopefully they're looking a bit more natural, but I still wig out every time I've got one of these pointing in my eyes. <laughs> favorite artist. I like a bit of Travis Scott, The Weeknd. That's pretty good, that's who I like. What is your background? I'm Australian Maltese. Yeah, I can't talk it. No, that's the next question next to that. Can you talk Maltese? No, I can't. But if someone can, you're more than welcome to give me a few tutor tutorials. Is that it? <laughs> a few tutorials, yeah. Personality, also a Gemini. Oh, hang on, that's just someone telling me they're a Gemini and also Maltese. You must be a legend. What's your favorite animal? My animal, Jax, is my favorite animal. He's not here in this video today, but I'll make sure he's in the next one. Got a little replacement down there. You met her before. Oh, is there a he? That's a she. <laughs> here we go, this question here. Can you please make a YouTube video on your fitness regime? Yup, so we're gonna have a couple of vlogs. We're gonna call them vlogs. Coming out on my fitness regime. Gonna get a few people involved that I know that are have been training me and I've trained with for a long time. So we're gonna get those people involved and yeah, I'll show you how I train indoors, outdoors, group fitness. It's gonna be all there. It'll be a good bit of fun. Do you wanna do a bit more modeling in the new year? Yeah, I wanna get a fair few more, you know, fashion -y jobs, modeling jobs, 
you know, under my belt this year. I did a cotton on campaign at the end of last year. It's going to be coming out in February. It's a pretty good one. It's on like a basic denim. I don't even know if I was allowed to tell you, but you just know now. So maybe <laughs> deal with it. That's fine. You just can know about it. That's all good. But yeah, also I um, posted that photo on my Instagram. You just wanted to see the forehead. Bang, I brought the forehead out for you today. The people spoke, I listened. That's how we do it. There it is. <laughs> so that's my Q&A done. Yeah, I probably shouldn't walk into Random's houses and film my Q&A, but oh well. Thank you. See ya. <laughs> oh, and I've almost fallen over. But yeah, anyway, what I'm trying to say is I hope you liked my q and I tried to answer as many questions as I could. There was a whole heap of just random, random shit in there. Hopefully you all loved it. That's episode four done. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Yew!